All right. Well, I'll be having an Illusions Exist Hangout tomorrow. It's already scheduled. I'm not sure how you find those things. If there is a way to put up the link to the Hangout itself ahead of time, I would do so. And there might be, but I'm, I'm not sure. So we'll just go with what I know works step by step extended into what might be nicer. So the topics that I want to talk about are the philosophy of art as information theory, which really relates to semantics and information relates to meaning. So meaning is study of meaning is semantics. As well as uh, always when you talk about meaning uh, and semantics, you'll end up getting into the reliance on uh, indication. You know, what is a cat? So our great video about uh, how con uh, it was a it was a lecture in a class at Berkeley uh, recently um, on uh, how controversy in language is really the subcult subconscious of culture basically. Um, so I was talking to uh, old fan about that. Yeah. So uh, you know, in the philosophy, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit right now. See, I'm writing this book, Illusion Exists, which is really about the philosophy of art. It's kind of a, a unified theory of art and information and meaning. And so, um, uh, with the the idea now that uh, information is concrete, right? It really exists out there in the world. Um, this allows us to tie together physics and mechanics, information theory, and then, you know, art, meaning, personal meaning. And so I agree with Amanda that really art is in inherently um, a multiverse, right? There is no search for the one true way to do art that, you know, justifies calling something art. And yet, as an artist, you do look for that. You are an individual, um, even if you have a multi-approach, you have different um, styles and medium uh, media that you like to work in, for example. It's still all going to come back into being, you know, your way of art, your philosophy of art, your personal practice of art. Um, and there's going to be the, still the whole multiverse outside it. So what is a theory of art? Does that mean, well, don't bother because everything goes? No, it means we explore all of these pathways. And what we're really doing is looking into the various ways that the human mind can create artifacts, which uh, inherently will hold information. And that's why I agree also with, with uh, old fan about you know, that means everything is art, whether you intend it to be or not. And yet, uh, to make a distinction in our society, because we don't, that we have reason to put art in an art gallery, um, in, in Illusions Exist, I start right off defining art as um, the intentional creation of illusion. And, uh, and then, of course, information is elusive. All information is linked, paired uh, with an illusion that makes sense of the information, and the information is making sense of the illusion. And um, so it's sort of a meta philosophy. It's, it's a philosophy of philosophies of art. Um, but I'd be interested in anybody showing up to, to ask their positions because um, this is a, kind of the focus of the Illusions Exist Hangout. I mean, I want to, uh, um, I, I sort of want to get certain ideas. I want the, it to, to uh, you know, mature or, and, and kind of go somewhere um, to, be, to have continuity. Um, and be conversational uh, as well so that, you know, we can focus on asking other people what they think about these issues and the continuity will come from um, the choice of the topics, basically. 
In other words, I'd love an open conversation on these topics, you know, where I'll put in, that's where I'm coming from and going, and we'll see where the conversation as a whole goes. Um, and then the second thing, geopolitics, I would like to discuss what really uh, separates us um, and what ought to separate us, right? So, you know, is it race, uh, money, and economics? Is it our locality? Is it really where you live? Is it religious and culture? Or is it resources? And I'll give you the spoiler. I mean, I think the only thing that is really uh, legitimately uh, expectable, of course, you're going to have conflict, is when you have resource conflicts and that uh, other so-called conflicts because, but I like to crack my egg this way and you like to crack it that way. You know, well, just read Gulliver's Travels Yourself. All right. So 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at this location. And I'll put the link as usual to join as soon as the room is up. Cheers.